everyone. Thank you for uh, coming, uh, watching another tutorial from InSync.com. Today we're going to learn how to completely customize your Virtumar product and uh, and pretty much get the most out of uh, uh, stylizing the uh, the layout of your Virtumar product. Okay, so what you're going to do is first go to your backend ed area, which is uh, yourdomain.com or whatever or whatever top level domain name that you have slash administrator enter and you will come to this page and this is the administration login page just okay, and once you're logged in you're gonna go to your virtual mart shopping cart and this is the control panel for the virtual mart shopping cart the previous the previous control panel which is this one is for the configuration and management of Joomla system now we're in the configuration system panel for virtual mart products okay and right here you can see you can pretty much manage everything you have your products your product categories your orders your payment methods shoppers configuration and this is where you just do all your settings titles uh, pricing taxes <coughs> no actually I don't think the taxes are there but here you'll see that there you have a numerous uh, options you're gonna want to uh, you can either set your shop offline or not set your offline message if you have one here the uh, the shop has been configured for two languages and it's very easily this is a, that's another tutorial but it's very easy to be configured for any other language in the world and here we got a little bit more specific which is our um, you know PDF icon ask question link and what that looks like Excuse me. Okay, you can see how your product is configured on your main card system. All right, and here you'll see if uh, you can have a ask question about this product, and you can show whether to have that showing or not just by clicking or on clicking. So you can see you can use a whole bunch of different. If you want to enable usage of a coupon, display stock levels, and I need to emphasize that this is very a, a very basic uh, tutorial which just shows you where all the areas are. Further knowledge and understandings is all up to you and, and how you go about getting your information. And definitely one way of getting some good information is always Googling Virtual Mart and the question that you have. So if you want to if you want to learn how to do uh, custom settings, you're going to do Virtual Mart how to custom settings. And you'll get a lot of supportive documentation on uh, any of the uh, major search engines. Okay, and here you can set your templates configuration, the pricing on what you want to show on the front end, the checkout process. You can either enable all these different situations or not. Product order settings and search engine optimization settings. Okay, so now let's just take it from the top. On the left hand side you also see you can navigate your Virtumart shopping cart. You can do your product categories if you want to edit your categories. Once you're in your categories you'll see that you have top categories and subcategories. Once you go into your subcategories you want to make a, let's say you want to change a, ch a picture or something. Okay, now you can go to images <coughs> and go ahead and upload your image but obviously we've already uploaded ours and also you can set other settings such as passing it down this template comes with a lot of additional features that you can insert into your product category uh, description that emphasizes some information that you want to be emphasized okay and here's the WYSIWYG to do your description okay and uh, you just pretty much uh, type in whatever you want there for whatever description you want and here you can see the category ordering if you want this to be a subcategory of something which it is from sunshade sales uh, you have to select it and make sure that it's in it's ta it's on the tab once all is good you just go ahead and save and always make sure that you go in the front and you review your product to make sure that it actually reflects the information that you want it to reflect okay so now let's say that you have a two language shopping cart if you want to change the French language or I, I, I'm sorry the other language we have a French language uh, secondary language you select French everything will switch to the French content so that when people switch over to French
they have the French version of it. Always remember that you cannot, you have to use the same picture, so do not use language on the picture because you cannot change one picture for, you cannot have one picture for both languages. Example, English and French languages share the exact same picture. That means if there was lang English language on it, the French section would see it too. So you got to be careful for that. And once you're happy with the changes, you go ahead and save and close. And your edits have been done to your products. Categories. So let's say you want to edit your products. You go into whatever product. Let's say if you want to create a new product, you click on new. Okay. I'm putting in all the information, the SQ, the name, the cost price, product description, and the product images are the basic information that you actually need for your product to be published. Okay, and then once you save it, once you save your product, and I'll just give you an example. The, the, the language bar becomes a drop down and now you can select the French information that you would want to add to the description. Remember, this is the French side and then you have the English side. So when you add a product and it's multilingual, you always have to make sure that both languages have descriptions, titles and images. Well, you don't have to worry about the image because it already it automatically publishes for both pictures. And just to give you an example, if you want to delete a product, you just go and select the product that you want, click delete. Okay, and also another way, if you just want to go and quickly add pictures to a product and you see that there's no images for the peak bar, you can just click on the media ma file manager. Okay, and now we can start adding our media to that product. But that's the hard way. If you don't want to do it that way, you just go into the product itself. You go to product images, go down to upload file. There's nothing else that you have to select. You click on your picture, and then you click upload. You click save and it would upload the picture. Okay, now you see that it automatically, without do changing any settings, automatically it will publish the small picture for you and, and reconfigure the, the large picture to the settings that you have published in your, ca uh, in your configuration file because you can set the, the size of the big picture and the small picture in your configuration file and the system will automatically uh, resize your images to those settings. Let's say you want to uh, get rid of everything. Okay, so you just get rid of your, uh, your file there and then you want to just replace. There's nothing. Click Save. Okay, and now we don't we no longer have any product images. Okay. Click save and close. And we've just configured uh, a product. Now certainly uh, Virtual Mart is a very one of the most advanced next to Magento in terms of shopping cart systems and it's highly configurable, especially with the new two point uh, the two point versions and uh, the 3.0 is, is out soon. So now you can also set if you have different multiple categories of shoppers, let's say you have the visitors that you have a retail price to and then you have uh, your resellers that you have a wholesale price to, you can actually configure two different groups with dis different discounted prices. So people would actually have to log in and then get a pricing, uh, a pricing um, for their product. Alright, 
So now this is. Uh, thank you for again for watching our tutorial. This was the basic configuration for a uh, Virtumart product. And uh, for more information, I encourage you to visit uh, Virtumart's website, which is Virtumart V T U E M A R T dot com. Uh, .net, I'm sorry. Okay, and you can get a lot of information from their website. All right, so don't forget, it's Virtumart, V-I-R-T-U-E-M-A-R-T dot net. Once again, my name is Michael Hanlon, and thank you for watching another tutorial by InZinc.com.